シューベルーうう<笑> I promise you guys my voice is only scratchy because、um, I have not had my honey so while I warm up my voice I'm gonna leave it to the professionals today in studio we have a phenomenal singer her name is Zoe now let's go chat to her while I fix this yeah Hi guys, welcome to another great episode of Unpack right here with me, Belinda Pofu. On today's episode, we'll be talking all things music. Ooh, that's nice. Girl, <laughs> I have an amazing young, talented musician with me. Please introduce yourself to everybody at home.、Uh, hello, guys.、Uh, my name is Zoe Mudicha, and I'm a human being first and a musician.、Yeah. Now, I want to talk about your journey, you know, like your entire music journey. You once said, I think it was in, a, in an interview that you had with Red Bull, that there was a point where you were not sure like, how it would all work out. So I want to know how it all worked out.、Uh, well, I think anyone that creates, anyone that、uh, makes anything、um, in the art form, whether it's music, dance, art, drama, There, there is always like an itch that you have to scratch when it comes to that talent and、mm-hmm. the ability to be knowing and confident at the fact that that is your purpose and、yeah. that's where you're supposed to be.、Uh, okay, I understand. And how,、um, like, was music something that you've always wanted to venture into? Like, how did you get into music? How did you get here, basically?、Um, music was definitely a friend、mm-hmm. that I've always had. And obviously, when I was a lot younger, I didn't even know that that was a business or a career、yeah. or anything. It was just something that I lived around.、Um, I came from a very academic family that listened to interesting and various types of music.、Um, so, from that, I was able to really just see how they react to music and want to impact people that way.、Mm-hmm. I just didn't know that it would be through music.、Um, but I realized over time that. Whether it was in school settings, I would always be auditioning for choirs and、yeah. I was never accepted into netball teams, for instance, because、um, I'm really bad at catching balls. Same、um, here, but, <laughs>、um, but yeah, it just became a gradual thing. And by the time I got to high school, I realized that that is exactly what I wanted to do. And that's when I got into my classical and jazz training. Your debut album is titled Yellow. And I also noticed that the color yellow pops up a lot on your Instagram because I was kind of stalking you a little. Why the name number one? And why is it? Because yellow seems to be important to you. Why is it so like, significant?、Um, well, the album, the debut album,、yeah. is called Yellow the Novel. And、um, yellow has always been my favorite color. I can take it back all the way to preschool. When we'd be making songs as little kids and like using crayons to、um, color in everything,、yeah. and all the girls would choose the pink color, but I had this like fixed fascination about yellow, and I realized over time that、um, that would be what I would embody, you know, in terms of being a little bit of an outcast. But I realized in time that that would be a strength, you know,、um, and I love what yellow symbolizes it's happy. It's bold,、um, it's great for advertising, it's cautious,、yeah. um, you can't miss it. And that's, that's something that I've always wanted to embody as a human being and with my work. Now, I want to dive into like, something very deep here、yeah? because we like to you know, be real on this show. It's no secret that you know, women have it very hard in this industry and we have to work like 10 times harder to, I guess, get anywhere.、Mm. Have you ever had like a guy ask you to do any sexual favors in return for, like, I'll help you with XYZ with regards to your career, I'll help you with this, I'll help you with that? Has that ever happened?、Um, I've, in some ways, I've been lucky enough to be intimidating enough not to experience that、um, yeah. a lot more than most of. Um, other women in the industry, which I, I really I do find it unfortunate. And I've been lucky enough to work with gentlemen most of the time. But、um, I unfortunately deal with a lot of things on a daily basis when it comes to work and men being very su- suggestive about the relationship I should have with them. 
um, they won't outright say what yeah. it is that they mean, but they'll be suggestive in a way that you know that that's what they mean. Um, and I think it's unfortunate um, that that is still a thing to deal with. Um, now on like a lighter, lighter note, where can people find your music? Are you, do you have any performances coming up um, anytime soon? Um, so people can always follow me on social media platforms. Yeah. That's where I put all my performances. Um, and there's quite a bit happening um, in a couple of days. Um, so you can follow me on at Zoe underscore Mudeja mm-hmm. on Twitter, on Instagram at Zoe Mudeja on Facebook Zoe Mudeja Musician Band Page so that's Z-O-E-M-O-D-I-G-A and I really love to interact That's with the people good. that um, um, love my music